Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Final Fantasy VI. Today we are starting Simon's Tale. Scenario, yes, scenario. What dire fate has befallen Simon, who leapt from the raft after the fight with Ultros? He drowned. Now he ended up all the way over there. If you look at the mini-map in the corner, we are nowhere near where we were. Now you should still have your equipment on. You do. Uh, I guess I'll give you the Mithril Shield for now, and this Plumbed Hat. As for Relics, I'm going to give you one of the Earrings that we have. That will help increase the damage of his Aura Cannon. And then the Hermy Sandals, because I like it when you go fast. Such good music, but before it goes away, who are you? Howdy there, I ran a mobile item shot of all sorts in these parts. Everyone around here knows me. You're, uh, not from around here, are you? Well, no matter. Need anything? Yeah, sure. I want to buy... Not sprint shoes. I want to buy 99 shurikens. Because I'm rich and can afford it. Now, the invisibility scrolls could come in handy. And the shadow scrolls as well. They cast, uh... Think image or blank from past games. Uh, invisibility just casts a vanish spell on the the caster, the thrower. Sh it's shadow. We're gonna be getting shadow in a second. But for now, we don't we don't really need it. I might buy. You know what? Yeah, we'll buy another plumbed hat. Because for some reason, even though he has a hood on, he doesn't have a helmet. You, another traveler. You don't happen to know how I could get to Narsh, do you? I get separated from my friends. The Empire has set up camp just beyond the forest to the east. The Empire? What are they doing here? They seem to have their eyes on Doma Castle. So Doma's next, huh? But I need to get to Narsh right away. Your only road passes through Doma. I can take you there if you'd like. Just know that I may leave you at any time. Take on the Traveling Companion? Absolutely. Death is always just a step behind me. Alright, so, we get Shadow in the party. Uh, we're gonna go give him a plume tat. You can have this buckler as well. And I think I want you in the back row because you're gonna be throwing shurikens. Now, I'm not gonna give him any relics or anything like that. Let's look at his stats. He has a very high speed. He has decent attack. He has above average stamina. He has above average magic. He's actually pretty awesome all around. That's because his throw ability makes use of both strength and magic. If you're throwing a weapon or a shuriken, it's based off his strength attack. If you're throwing a scroll, like a flame scroll, or a lightning scroll, or a water scroll, the, the invisibility scrolls, they're all based off his magic. So he is sort of a jack of all trades, but he's not a master or none. He's actually really good at everything. So it's something to take advantage of when you can. So now that he's in the party, we are good to go. Let's go check out this house. Uh, if you leave the house, or enter the house and come back, uh, leave, the merchant will be back. He'll, he just comes once a map, I guess. Youch! Oh, for pity's sake! And you call yourself a repairman, causing trouble just like a kid. A kid? I don't have any kids. Ugh! Why'd you have to bring up kids? Makes me sick just thinking about it. I think it's time for you to leave now. Go on, get! Or I'll toss you out onto the veld, too. Huh? I think this old chocobo is missing a few feathers. Yeah, there's the merchant. This guy's insane. Hmm? You're the clockmaker. I've been waiting for ages. Uh, no, I'm not the clockmaker. There she is, hanging up on the wall over there. Ain't been ticking for a year now. Five years, was it? Shucks, maybe it's been ten. I don't remember. He'll say something new every time you actually talk to him. And eventually he'll just like be like, get out of my house. Then he'll just repeat the cycle. So what we want to do is make our way down here. We want to get into a couple of random battles. Not this one, but I mean, if you're going for a 100% beast area, you, you do want to get this one. Now, Shadow wasn't lying when he said he could leave at any time. After a bit, there will be a chance for him. I forget the exact chance. It's not high, but it's not low either. That he'll will just be like, hey, I fulfilled my contract. I'm leaving. And then he'll leave, because he's an ass. 
Uh, if you want to avoid that, just run from every random encounter until, until I tell you otherwise. But I'm not going to be doing that right now. Uh, most because I need to get an enemy around here. Well, I need to fight an enemy around here for future use. And if he leaves right now, I'll just reset. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, but yeah, there is an enemy around here called Stray Cat that I want to find and kill. Now, he's a pretty common random encounter. Let's just try one more time before we step into that desert. Do not like something's going to happen in there. Ah, shit. Oh, well. Uh, while we're doing this random encounter, I was just going to say that uh, there is a chance that Shadow's dog, Interceptor, will guard an attack that is focused on Shadow. And uh, that was wrong? What? Anyway, so will guard an attack based on Shadow, uh, towards Shadow, and it will counter and do massive amounts of damage to the enemy that it countered from. There's also another thing I wanted to talk about. Let's get into one more random encounter before stepping into that desert. It's actually something that I forgot to mention, and I don't actually think the game mentions it. In the Game Boy Advance version, these are the stray cats I wanted to find anyways. In the Game Boy Advance version, if you pr press select when it's uh, someone's turn, you can skip their turn and go to another character that has a full action bar. It's useful to have, especially when you have someone like Celis. I displayed it during the boss fight with uh, the tunnel armor last time. And I just didn't even cross my mind to tell you that you press select and it skips the turn. I forget the buttons for the other versions of the game, but it was introduced in the Super Nintendo Final Fantasy 3, Final Fantasy 6 version of this game. Because it wasn't in 4 or 5 until the remakes. An Imperial Camp. There are an awful lot of soldiers here that walk really slowly towards each other. Hey, did you hear? Oh, you mean? Shh, keep your voice down. If Kefka catches us, we're toast. They say Kefka's plotting to drive away General Leo so he can take over his position as general. Don't even joke about something like that. If that freak becomes our general, I'll quit. Shh, what if he hears you? Also, Soldier B did... Did you know you sound exactly like me? And you'll be locked up. All right, all right. Uh-oh, here he comes. Quick, back to your post. Hey, you. You keeping a sharp lookout, hmm? Yes, sir, Kefka, sir. What a pleasant surprise. How are you today, sir? Please spare me your petty small talk. Just do your job. And don't let me catch you slacking, or I'll make you regret being born. He's probably not lying. Hmm. Like we're gonna listen to you, you pompous little... What is wrong with that guy anyways? It's like General Lito got all the good qualities a man could have and Kef gets stuck with the rest. Shh, I told you to keep it down. How many times are you gonna make me say it? You gotta be more careful. General Lito might be a decent man, but Kefka, that guy's twisted. Tell me about it. No, literally, tell me about it. What? Why is he twisted? You there! We're about to storm the castle! The two of you will join the assault squad. Get moving! No, oh, they're dead. The brown stuff on your gloves, dude. Charge! Actually, what's that brown stuff on your pants? I know it's just a different color, like, for shading, but they usually just use a, an offset of the main color, not a completely different one. It's hopeless. We can't keep them all out. So this is it. Wait. The battle is not yet lost. A noble warrior of a foreign land, a faithful retainer to his lord and master, he fears not even death. Cyan! His name was a lot longer in the Japanese version that I can't really pronounce, so I'm not gonna try. Look it up! If we can but fail their commander, they should break rank and withdraw. I shall meet him on the field of battle.
So Cyan, please, defeat their commander. I, I guess I could do that. I mean, I could help. You need help? No, you don't need help. So we're going to kill these Imperial soldiers. We could have fought these guys a little bit later, but it gives me time to actually just kill these guys. You go, could go around and kill them one by one. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to kill these guys. I just wanted to show that we could get into a random, well, not random, but an encounter with them. Uh, Cyan comes with his Boshito. He only has three abilities right now. And really, number one is the most useful one because it's instant. You don't have to wait for it. Oh, these guys can counterattack, can't they? Probably use a potion, actually. So let's just go to our items and use a high potion. Why not? Should buy more of those. Let's look at his abilities. Bushido. We got Fang. It performs a rapid sword thrust against a single enemy. Sky. Readies a devastating counterattack to unleash when the next attacked. And Tiger. Channels focus key energy through the samurai's blade to howl a single enemy's HP. It's like the gravity spell. Actually, I think it's literally the gravity spell. Uh, so yeah, kind of like a lot of the other characters, his skills can make use of both strength and physical. His physical ones are more prominent if you look at his strength. He has really high strength, very low speed and magic, and decent stamina. For the most part, he is a strength character, though you could build him eventually as a more magic-focused one. But his abilities do mainly focus on strength. Uh, he comes equipped with a katana. We don't have anything really to give him otherwise. I guess we could give him the iron armor, but that lowers his speed even more, which I don't think I want to do. But I will give you the hyper wrist. And I think that should, you know what? Just for shits and giggles, we'll put that knighthood, <laughs> code of knighthood, whatever it's called on. Anyways, I am Cyan. Return it to the King of Doma. Rid of thy axe. All right, so we could use Fang, but I think I want to show off his level two Boshito. Yeah, just stand there, do nothing, lovely. Come on, Captain. Ah, good job. Goodbye. Hey, no, goodbye, no counterattack. Bastard. And we get the Black Belt, which is a relic that if you equip, will let you counterattack attacks. The captain's been defeated! Retreat! Why didn't you guys just surround them and kill the one man? He's strong. He's not that strong. Nah, well. I mean, hell, one eyeshadow is a gun. Yeah, for some reason, I don't know why. Your party will get rearranged. I don't know why. We could talk to the soldiers, and I think we just run away. Or we get, we probably just get into a random encounter. Hey, hey, magic deck armor. So yeah, we get into a random encounter. I never really talked to these guys. You don't you really, probably shouldn't. Kind of waste of HP, really. But yeah, the magic deck soldier is, or magic deck armor is the same exact one we fought at Figaro. So he's not that bad. Literally as strong as the move is the magic tech laser, but it doesn't really do anything. Well, we kill those guys. Oh my god, that's right! This is a different model doggy! There's two dog models in this game! I had completely forgotten! I think this is the only time this one is used. Good doggy. Ah, it won't open. Kick it, hit it, leave it. Well, I think I will hit it. Ow! Who's there? Uh-oh. Must have heard that. I love Shadow's surprised freaking emote there. Hmm. I know I heard something. Meow. Oh, just a stupid cat. That sounded like a guy going, meow. Phew, that was close. And we get a star pendant. Eh, I mean, it's not that useful. But it's there. General Leo, sir, the Domains appear to have playing a be playing a waiting game. So they're using their favorite strategy. General, we're ready to storm the castle as soon as you give the order. Patience. If we attack now, there will be too many casualties, unnecessary casualties. But General, I'm prepared to lay down my life for the Empire at any time. 
You're from Miranda, aren't you? Huh? I mean, yes sir, I am, but... Why do you ask, sir? You would have me go there and deliver the news of your passing to your family. What would I say when I handed them your sword? How could I even look at them? You're a human being before you're a soldier. Don't be so eager to throw away your life. Emperor Gestal wouldn't want you to die for nothing. Yes, sir. General Leo, sir. A carrier pigeon has arrived from Emperor Gestel. I don't know why I said Gestel that way. What? The Emperor summons me. I must return at once. Understood, sir. I'll leave the rest in your hands. Yes, sir. Listen to me. Don't rush things. That's all I ask. Sir, leave it to us, sir. I'm counting on you. Bye, Leo. So that's General Leo. He may be an enemy, but he seems like a decent man. I think in the original... It's, it's so weird having Shadow in the front saying that. In the original Super Nintendo translation, it's like, he could be an ally if he wasn't my enemy. I'm like, well, shit, man. No kidding, you don't say. Once Leo's gone, I can turn this water into a flowing river of poison. Anyone who touches it will be pushing up daisies. <laughs> I'm afraid the Emperor has called me back home. Try not to cause any trouble in my absence. Hmm. I'll take care of things faster than you ever would. Nothing dirty, Kefka. They may be our enemies, but they're still human beings. Try not to forget that. We needn't show mercy to those side with the, with the returners, which is good because I never seem to have any of that stuff. Leo, you should probably stab him. Yes, you just go off and be a good little boy. Is the poison ready? But General Leo said, Leo's not here anymore. I'm in charge now. Fork it over. Some of our people are being held prisoner inside the castle. If any of them were to drink the water, who cares? They're the ones who were stupid enough to get caught by the enemy. You're inhuman. Gah, pest at its every turn. Guess I'll have to take care of you too. One on one, well, one on two against Kefka. Who's gonna get a blitz to the face? He's using a Morningstar. And if you can hit him hard enough, he has a death animation. Youch! Kefka, wait! Wait, he says. Do I look like a waiter? Chatter's like, oh fuck, what did I get myself? Ow, I punched my desk. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh, wait! Yeah, uh, so that scene right there is one of the main reasons why a lot of people think Kefka can be a party member. Because he's an actual character with stats in that fight, and he has a full set of animations. I mean, spoiler on the rumor mill. But we're supposed to just uh, check, uh, chase after Kefka. But instead of doing that, I'm just going to go in here and we get Monster in the Box. So this is a satellite. Hi, satellite. How are you doing? Don't kill Sabin. Uh, he's not too, too bad. He does have a lot of health. He's a semi-boss. And he can berserk you. Hopefully I can get this attack off before... Well... Ah, oh, shiznit. Oh, at least Shadow has... Oh, shit, if Interceptor blocks that... Sabin's gonna die. I think Missile is like a gravity attack. Like, it will only do a percentage of... Actually, no, it's a sap attack, really? That's different from uh, other games. So just keep going after the satellite. He will eventually die. But if you kill out the soldiers, he'll just summon more soldiers eventually. Uh, next time it would be three. And then he'll just use a, uh, I think on the 10th turn, he'll use Discord, which will halve your level. 
So d don't, don't let him live. Uh, what do we want to do? I want to heal you, you, and I think I want to put on, what did we just get? Green Beret, yeah. Yeah, I'll put this on. It will increase, I should have healed him afterwards, you're right. <laughs> uh, it increases your max hit points. What, you guys didn't know about that little secret area to jump off and get a barrier ring? Yeah, I didn't know about this for a long time either. Not the first few times I played this game. It's, it's It was mind-boggling when I first found out. I was, like, speechless, which is rare. Gaspent. You just don't give up, do you? No, it's one of the reasons why people hate me. Have some shurikens. Ouch! Kefka, wait! Wait, he says. I'm just gonna repeat the same line as before, because I'm original. Gah, how long do you expect me to put up with this? Next time I won't hold back. Hey, Kefka. Oh, gripes, this is just getting tiresome. Hey, you handle the rest. Uh, yes, sir. Well, now we get some Templars and other Imperial soldiers. Templars, like the Imperial Soldiers, are kind of weak, but they do counter when they die, for the most part. Sometimes they don't, and sometimes they do. One aura cannon should kill them, though. And, well, it did, so I guess there is no though, or should. These, uh, yeah, no, these guys aren't that hard. I don't know. They like they don't hit hard. And they're nothing really special. It's it's just kind of odd. It's like that's like a sort of it's not a mini boss, but it's a pseudo boss fight cuz you don't really run into those guys ever again. Like after this area, you don't run into them anymore. Anyways, <laughs> nothing beats the sweet music of a hundred voices screaming in unison. <laughs> And with this poison, the water becomes purple. Perfect disguise for poison. Hmm. The water's purple. Zerciyan! A great deal of activity is in the Imperial camp. I think they may be preparing another assault. Hmm, does the water not look a bit odd? I don't know, sir, I haven't drank any, but I hear it tastes like purple. Blah. I don't know why I jumped. Blah, blah. Meh. Sir Cyan. It must be poison. Very fast acting poison. Put low down, contemptible. We must warn the king! He loves purple! Yeah, I don't know. It's like a pinkish purple. But if my water was pinkish purple, I probably wouldn't drink it. I mean, maybe. You might think it's like a mixed drink or something and be like, I love alcohol, and just start drinking it. Who's there? Cyan, your excellency. Oh, Cyan. My sight is failing. I cannot see your beautiful face. Lean closer. E excellency, please, you must be strong. Cyan. You have defended this realm since the day of my fathers before me. I thank you for your service. Yeah. Forgive me. I fail to protect our kingdom. No, Excellency. Thy fault lies not with thee. I fear for your family. Oh, my chest burns with every breath. Speak not, my lord. Save thy strength. Go to your family. Cough. Gasp. Excellency. Yeah, He's dead. Sir Cyan!
There may be still survivors in this castle. Now let's split up and search. Good plan! Excellency. You have such a unique sprite, and I can... Totally... That's inappropriate. I'm king now. Except I can't really sit on the throne. Alright, so we need to go find Cyan's family. They're actually just through that door. We're not gonna go in there. Why? Because I don't want to get stuff. That's like one thing I can get, so it's like... Remedy! Aw, oh, he did. Hey, bro, what's up? So, Cyan, we were too late. I like the pause and just slow descent there. Like, oh, god damn, this is bad. Uh, thank you for surviving this assault. We will never see you again. Goodbye. I don't know whatever happens to that NPC, but I hope he found a new position in life. That, to be honest, the probably, yeah, Empire probably kills him. Elaine! Don't leave me, Elaine. This, this is unpardonable. Oh, Elaine. Plop. No, no. This is not possible. This cannot be happening. I will not forgive them. The Emperor must pay for this! I love how the music just transitions over. I am Cyan, return it to the King of Doma! Enemy! All men to your position! <laughs> One guy has survived and he's <laughs> doing a frontal assault on our base. Shit, man. Let me give you a hand. I know not thy name or thy allegiance, but I welcome thy aid. All right, in these battles, Cyan will be controlled by the computer. We're gonna be fighting some more, well actually, these guys are just completely new. They're soldiers, they're not Imperial soldiers this time around, they're soldiers. Uh, and they're not the ones from Figaro either. Yeah, you're right, this place is kind of a mess when it comes to like, naming enemies, huh? Actually, that's not, I wasn't right. We do fight these guys. Shadow, why are you in the front of the party again? These ones next. Grr. They are tougher than they appear. Yar, me mateys. Some more soldiers. Yeah, they're not appear. I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever really noticed that before. That the names of the soldiers change from Imperial soldiers to soldiers. I think these ones we do fight later. I'm not sure about the Templars, actually. And I know what I said earlier, but I don't think that's true. I think we do actually do fight them later. Maybe? Oh man, I'm all sorts of confused now. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. They're fodder. Just mow them down. God, who poisoned the river? And I closed the text box because I think that's what he said. Look, I think we're going to have to do this together. That thought had occurred to me as well. And I'm getting an officer this time around, not a Templar. Because why not, right? Now we should all, I think, if Cyan uses Fang, we should all one-shot everyone here. Be okay, for a second there, I'm like, wait, Interceptor has a thing called Fang? Oh, wow. Officer, you're pretty strong, man. He's dead now, too. Nothing really good for that fight. I'm in thy vet. No need for thanks. I'm Sabin from the Kingdom of Figaro. We should get out of here. <laughs> but I must avenge my family and my countrymen. If we stick around here any longer, we'll have an entire regiment down our throats. There they are, this way! Oh boy. I have an idea. Follow me. Alright. And by follow you, you mean follow Shadow. Sir Sayan, uh, Sy <laughs> Sir Sabin, what manner of armored beasts might these be? They haven't used these against you? Oh my god, this army sucks. I'll explain later, just climb in. Sir Sayan, Sabin, I don't know why I keep mixing those up. 
How does one manipulate this abomination? Alfort, thou art getting to be quite a pain in the... Ah, oh, great. Now I'm even starting to talk like you. Listen, see that lever? The one right by your hand? Push it down. Sir Sabin, it appears to be in reverse. Yeah, yeah, come on. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Ah, I can't stop this monstrosity. That's how you deal with an army, apparently. Well, if a shadow's just like, I found one over here, you guys are idiots. All right, so we're in magic tech armor now. Uh, it's kind of like the beginning of the game. Except with Shadow, Sabin, and Cyan. Uh, pretty much the same as before. You don't have your special abilities, but you do have, you know, just the magic tech abilities. Just use Thunder. They're weak against lightning. They're machines, after all. I wonder if we have that weakness while we're in this. Nah, probably not. Oh, well, maybe. I don't know, but these Imperial soldiers are probably really, really second-guessing their decision to come and fight us. I mean, we're in Magic Tech armor, and the fact that these guys, like, haven't used the Magic Tech armor against Doma is silly. I mean, come on. Like, if that commander had Magic Tech armor when he fought Cyan, he'd probably be dead, right? That makes sense, right? I know we one-shotted uh, Magic Tech armor earlier as Sabin and uh, Shadow, but still, it's like... It's some of the strongest stuff in the world right now. And I know Cyan's strong, but come on. Come on! Also, these guys really should be like not using magic kick laser on us, instead using thunder beam. Because it seems to be really effective against you. I'm gonna get some high potions. I needed some of those, actually. That's good. No, why are you leave No, why are you leaving the suits behind? We should take those with us, goddammit. Okay, I think we should be safe now. So, how do I get to Narsh from here? Narsh. I don't know why I said it like that. I believe the only route passes through the forest to the south, but... Alright. And we're going into the woods, I guess we won't be needing these hunks of scrap metal anymore. Let's get going. No, you bring them with you. You bring them with you. You can tear through the woods. Son of a bitch. And that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you hit on my videos? I can check out some of my other content and see if it's to your liking. We're not done with Sabin Scenario. Not yet. Not for a little while longer, actually. So yeah, see you all next time.